Hey guys, Supernova here, uh, making yet another math video because I know there's so much demand for them. You guys love them so much. I'm kidding, of course, but it's been a while since I've made one, and I thought I'd share uh, a few more thoughts on Infinity because it's the one thing that I like to pick on. Uh, a while back, I saw this video on YouTube uh, by Number File about some uh, paradoxes having to do with Infinity, and one of them was a very well-known one called... Uh, Hilbert's Paradox of the Grand Hotel, uh, in which you have this this hotel that has a countably infinite number of rooms, and they're all occupied. The, the hotel is full. And uh, supposedly, if a new guest arrives, you could make space for him by taking the guest from room one and putting him in room two, and then moving that person from room two into room three, the person from room three into room four, and so on down the line. And by doing so, you can comfortably accommodate uh, this new guest. And supposedly you can keep doing that with uh, any number of new guests, even another infinite series of new guests. Um, now the reason this is paradox isn't because uh, it's it's mutually exclusive, but because it supposedly um, proves this this thing about infinity uh, about how it can never technically be full and uh, that just shows a lack of imagination from my point of view because yes an infinity can be full you can you could have conceptually a hotel that is full even if it has uh, numbers of room beyond count uh, into infinity so uh, if you take this guest and move him from room one and that moves somebody from room two to room three and so on uh, there's there's no reason why that would ever end I mean if we're uh, uh, assuming as part of this hypothetical that every room is occupied this pattern will never stop every time that a, a person is displaced from their room they will go into another room that's occupied and displace somebody the fact that in this hotel we can make a free empty room by displacing an equal number of people it isn't a paradox that's not even unexpected that would happen with any finite number of rooms but in that case you'd actually see the effect because there's an end point and somebody is left out on the street and saying what happened I had a hotel room but when it's infinite because you can't perceptually see the end of that uh, track even though some people like me can imagine it um you know they, they think oh well it's not a problem i mean it's infinity's problem now we'll we'll just let that deal with it no no you you still displace these people and if you can tear continue these patterns without just assuming that somehow they're broken up in some way that you don't know um then uh, you you cannot do what you are trying to do you can't keep adding people to your hotel and just saying oh now it's just a different number full it doesn't work that way um, if you instead picture this hotel as a string of ones after a decimal point uh, what we would know as point one repeating uh, then you'd have a, a very similar concept people think oh well if you put a one in the tens place right after the decimal that just moves the one that was in the tens place to the hundreds place and the one from the hundreds place to the thousands place and so on and you still just have infinite one and it's it's just a free one it, it doesn't make it any longer yes it does it's still point one repeating it's still infinite ones we don't call it anything else because we don't have a, a notation for this idea but you still added a, a one there's one more one after the decimal point it's it's still infinite ones but it's one one longer and if you keep adding to that it it still gets longer there's no reason that it shouldn't there's no reason that it should break the rules that all other um numbers have to follow just because infinity is too hard to understand but anyway i i thought i'd throw that out there just so you can comment on it and get all angry and thumbs down this video and and whatnot or maybe just maybe you can actually try to wrap your mind around what I've uh, presented to you here anyway peace out